Yo, who's going hog hunting? We's going hog hunting. Who's going hog hunting? We's going hog hunting. Cut a mother loving hog up, right? And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. <sighs> Intro. Yo, it's me, ya boy, JJV. Boom! Anyway, what is happening? Great White Gang, what is good? Chris Squad fam, it is your boy, Jason JV. And Hogbots, in case y'all y'all was wondering what my cap size is, well, it's big enough to get your moms off. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here we go. We try to get things going with round one when Church dropped. You know, his first disc that was called Y Boys, which your boy did a reaction for. And by the way, you know, shameless plug, you haven't seen that reaction. You know, hey, you might want to go hit it up before watching this one. And, you know, you can always come back and watch this one afterwards. Or you can watch this one first and then go back and watch Y Boys reaction. You know what I'm saying? That, that reaction ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> speaking of that first round, like I said, Church did drop the white boys, uh, which was the first time McDonald diss. And from Tom, we got no response. <laughs> Get it? Anyway. Now, apparently, you know, Church really wants to, to do battle with Tom. So we got the second diss. This one being called simply Tom McDonald diss. I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait to get into this one. And I'm sure y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. So without further ado, like to hear here. <laughs> yo, yo, it's not like we got a whole funeral going on, man. We got the choir singing on this beat. You know what I'm saying? Man, we, we even got the, you know, the, uh, the uh, eagle coming in too. Bruh, bruh. Ooh. Let's go. Six, four, five. It's like YouTube versus Mozart. Pick his fucking bone apart. Coyote in the hollow when it's dark. My stomach start to bark. This road killed dead, been dead since the first track. Mickey Thompson pattern slapped all the way down to his ass crack. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. So, see, road killed dead, been dead since the first track. Like I said, we got no response. So. I think I think Tom, Tom was was DOA when it came to this battle. Uh, Mickey Thompson uh, pattern slap all the way around down his ass crack. And talking about yo man, he he running him down. Church is running Tom down, man. He bodying him, man. Let's go. His ass crack, five head ass. You already know about the tall hats. I see sting on your face, Bob. <laughs> the five head ass. You already know about the tall hat, tall hats. I uh I see. Sting on your face. Okay. Why with the ball bag control the Ah, I see what he did there. I see the sting on your face. Barbed wire with the ball bat. Okay, another wrestling reference. Sting the wrestler. Uh St Sting used um had this uh dark um character which is referred to as the Crow Sting, which he first established way back in the mid nineties. When he used to wrestle for WCW. And yes, Sting, that version of Sting did walk around with a baseball bat. Although, <clears throat> to be fair, yes, I am a wrestling geek. A lot of you know this. Uh, Sting's baseball bat never had barbed wire on it. However, Cactus Jack or Mick Foley, his baseball bat always had the barbed wire wrapped around it. You know what I'm saying? Back during the Attitude Era. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yo, shout out to the old school WWF Attitude Era. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the greatest if not the greatest era in wrestling history, in my opinion. So, uh, barbed wire back, um, can control the situation and his ass can't fall back. Hmm. Situation and his ass can't fall back. All there is is water and he ain't fluid enough to swim. Rack gills. Ooh, hoo, hoo. See, all there is is water and he ain't fluent enough to swim. Rap. Damn. Swim rack gills with the skills. You a CGI spacecraft. They got gills with the skills. You a CGI spacecraft. Damn. Green screen. 
Rhyme Zone algorithm format. Woo. Green screen, Rhyme Zone algorithm format. Put LG on the stone tab. Wrapped her in the club back. Jurassic Park, a car in my lot. Tow it to Toronto. Facts. My ink pen a wrist when I clinch it with a mean fist. Hip hop is the art you leave So my ink pen risk when I clinch it with a mean fist. Hip hop is the art you leap in with some cheap shit. I mean, not wrong, not wrong. It, hip hop, yes, it is. It, it is that art form, and it's the most competitive art form that there is. And if you ain't, you know built for battle you ain't built for the game and uh probably time to uh pick a new lane i'm just saying and with some cheap shit met the grill of a redneck driving around in the c10 screaming white boy a couple of times hey i like the references to the to the old school chevy's c10 my father used to own um a 1972 chevy c10 um back in the day you know what i'm saying badass truck too man uh he last time um I seen that truck. It was a step side, and it was lowered on some mag wheels, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Me, me, me and my pops, man. We we be some old school uh, car guys. You know what I'm saying? We be big time fans of the old school cars. You know what I mean? I mean, hell, I, that's why I got a diecast collection behind me of some classic lowriders and muscle cars. You know what I mean? Because yo, that that's be be my thing. You know what I mean? Thanks to my pops. You know what I mean? That's also his thing too. You know what I mean? But anyway. Now we automatically think sweet friends Leave a hog at the farm and the deceased in my big pen Got Mark So leave the hog at the farm deceased in my pig pen I love I love the farm bars, let's go With an ink tip, I'm real bored Flip trick, my style make a trick flip Is that KD no L or Ooh So it got murked with With a ink tip I'm real bored flip trick okay so we got some you know some some skater bars up in here some skateboard bars because you know the flip trick um, my style make a trick flip is that Katie Noel or a revamp of white chicks Ooh, ouch ouch so we got the Katie Noel reference and then we got the movie white chicks you know which starred the Wayans brothers Sean and Marlon Wayans bruh bruh let's go a revamp of white chick transform rappers into looking like my side bitch. I be standing in Tra transform rappers be looking like my my side bitch. E e I'm I'm pretty sure he just called Tom a, a a trans. He called him a tranny. Damn, damn, that's bruh, bruh. In the kitchen eating Canadian bacon strips, and ain't nobody on my wave, so nobody can sink the ship. Woo, he's standing in the kitchen eating Canadian bacon strips. Ain't nobody on my wave. So nobody can sink the ship. Hey. Hey, pyramid scheme ain't nothing but a weak big M and M attention. No getting make his name eat jip. Ooh, ooh. So pyramid scheme ain't nothing but a weak big big, which is a brand that produces pens and pencils. Uh M, &M attention. No getting, make his name Egypt. Damn. So Tom did purchase a beat that was produced um, by Eminem. And I believe that was the same beat, if memory serves, that Tom used to write his Dear Shady song um, where he was paying homage to dude and didn't really do much for him because Eminem's not doing anything with him. Um, and Tom paid how much? A hundred K for a beat from Eminem. So pretty much you got you got ripped off. You got you got gypped. You know what I'm saying? You got Egypt, E for Eminem, Egypt, E, you know, Egypt. Hey, bruh. 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 Didn't make his name Egypt. I ain't buying book because I'm well known like a C script. So the whole uh, I'm buying bull, you know, that was a reference to or was a callback to um, a line that Church did in a Savannah Dexter Bravo Gator disc where you're talking about buy bull. You know what I'm saying? Um, he ain't buying into the BS. Um, that is another reference. Well, that is what he's basically saying here. I ain't buying into the BS because I'm well known like a C script. Like a C script, Joe Dirt's coming. I'm only dropping some heat shit. Oh, I, li I like the Joe Dirt reference. Keep the pants in the cupboard. All my neighbors is bobbing because I'm powering a funky volume and knock off Marcus Hobson. Hill. Woo, 
made a Hobson reference right there. Okay, yo, shout out to Hobson, man. One of the dopest MCs in the game. Let's go. Ah, I like this. Hillbilly with an ill mind. I, I, I love the Hobson ill mind series. I love the, the ill mind references here, man. Let's go. Ooh. Let me go back to that right quick. Hey, come on. So, yeah, with the ill mind, remember hip hop had white eyes. Uh, he ain't tell no white lies. That's true. Opson, as far as I know, always kept it a buck. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he has the, the, you know, the white eye contacts. That's what Hobson's been known to wear. You know what I mean? When he goes into his Hobson mode, if you will, for lack of a better term. Um, he ain't tell no white lies. True. Or hashtag his whole life. Facts. Facts. Don't know white lies or hashtag his whole life. It's me slowed down like purple drink and toss sprite. I'm the hitter in your system. Memphis 12s all night. Dude spent a hundred racks on a shady made beat. Reenacted a so dude spent a hundred racks. Like I mentioned earlier, and this is true. He did. Tom even bragged about it. Spent a hundred K on an Eminem beat and it didn't get him anywhere, right? So the dude spent a hundred racks on a shady made beat. Reenacted a classic from Marshall Mathers LP. He reenacted scenes from the the uh, Stan music video. He even had the car from this. Well, I don't know if, if it's the car, but it's the same exact kind of car uh, from the Stan music video. I mean, he had the water pouring all over it and everything. Uh, which you know, let's face it, Tom is a whole Stan. Um, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. Yeah, you want so desperately hard to be like Eminem. You're swinging so hard from his dick, trying to get a taste of his nuts. I mean, bruh, bruh, you need, need, need to calm down, Tom. You need to calm your damn rose, my guy, bruh. That classic from the Marshall Mathers LP. And then he fucked it all up, acting like a psycho freak. And I was photo in the guard shack somewhere in the deep. <laughs> so then he fucked it all up, acting like a psycho freak. Yeah, again, because, you know, Tom be all on, on, on dude's nutsack. You know what I mean? Um, now his photo in the guard shack from somewhere in the D. Or in the guard shack somewhere in the D. And um, in the D, that's actually a partial title name to a song Eminem did with Kid Rock and Trick Trick called uh, From the D. So, I don't know. This might be a reach, but it could be a reference to that song. With again, Kid Rock, Eminem, and Trick Trick from the D. If you never heard that song, you should check it out, man. That that, that song is fire, dude. That fire beat. And man, I miss the days when, you know, um, M would collab with Kid Rock. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, it's a real, it's a real shame that when, when Kid Rock was going through, um, you know, all the BS, all the nonsense, because dude dirty gave his opinion on the political climate and whatnot. Eminem didn't even have his back, which is all kinds of suspect, dude. And when friends like that, let's just say who needs enemies. I mean, damn. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, dude. Our check somewhere in the deep. This is ludicrous. Back in 2003, an albino crab apple looking like he's covered in bleach. I like the ludicrous reference. So this is ludicrous. Back in 2003, albino crab apple looking like he's covered in bleach. I mean. Yeah. Covered in bleach in a simulated ring, simulated competition. I'm Optimus Prime, you optimizing all the opposition. Is this dude a rapper or a politician? Is he AI generated or got tattoos missing? I got the juice, motherfucker, not Shapiro recognition. Oh, I like the I like the the uh, juice reference. I got the juice, one of Tupac's uh, many movies that that he starred in. Juice, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I do like the reference. I do appreciate that reference. Again, rest in peace, my man Tupac. One of my favorite rappers of all time. Let me wind back a bit more. Talking about, yo, um, he said something about AI. So, yeah, is the, is the AI generated, got tattoos missing? Got tattoos missing. I got the juice, motherfucker, not Shapiro recognition. Got your mama jokes, I got his young. So, and then, of course, juice, not uh, Shapiro recognition. So, I think he's trying to play with that, too. Like, I don't know. It could be. I, again, I may I may be reaching, but he may be uh, referencing the fact that Ben Shapiro is uh, a Jew. You know what I mean, he is Jewish. Um, 
So you got your your mama jugs. I got his uh, oh his his yamaka for for ramen with the with the with the chicken noodles. Damn. Okay. I'm a cup of ramen with the chicken noodles. My shit's so hard written in Roman numerals. I kill the beat so much every album having a funeral. Dig a hater out the grave cause I'm a DNA consumer. Got a Pharaoh producer camera angle be looking loose. DNA Pharaoh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, see here. I got got the DNA. Got, got a Pharaoh producer camera angle B looking lucid. Oh, so shout out to Be Loose. Which uh is is who is probably the uh, producer of this track and whatnot. Um, yeah, I know church church has been working with Be Loose a lot lately, man. So yeah, that's definitely a shout out to Be Loose. Let's go. Camera angle be looking lucid. Every move we make is being made in the way of the future. By the way, when we get there, you still need a hip hop tutor. I'm the shit poop super on my record. So boot scoot and lose yourself in the music. The moment you don't hit, that's why you never. Ah, he did the lose yourself reference. Lose yourself in the music, the moment, bruh. So you don't hit, and that's why you you doing. You, that's why you never doing shows. Tom has made excuses as to why he doesn't do shows, and one of his excuses was that because Nova has asthma. Yeah, well, Tom, you know who else has asthma but still does shows? I'm just saying, if my man here can do shows. While, you know, dealing with his asthma. And you, Tom, don't have asthma. So you have no excuse as to why you don't do shows. Okay? Bruh. Don't don't use your, your wife. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I don't really think that girl is your wife. Because, uh, let's just say, if Tom doesn't know who Cardoza is, ask Nova. I'm pretty sure she recognizes that name very well. If you, uh catch my drift i'm just saying anyway but doing shows can't even get one shot your verse from the hand of ghost that composition be empty your fucking lifetime my genre of music label that's dude i like how he even got the lose yourself reference he got that eminem um uh, uh cadence from uh the the uh the uh, lose yourself uh reference man bro let's go High crime, Zodiac killer, Gemini yanking on your lifeline Who wants to be a millionaire for no fucking reason? This guy Now Waddle studying Southern Comfort up on his Wi-Fi Go denim on denim like a carny up at the fair ride Cotton candy, your heart popcorn for no show Kick your ass out my house like I'm Earl Winslow Got any G? Kirk, kick your ass out of my house like you Earl Winslow Man, so he's basically calling Tom uh, Steve Urkel Bruh <laughs> So yeah, I like the the uh, Family Matters reference, man. All right, y'all. So that was Up Church with the Tom McDonald disc. Pretty much, pretty sure we're at pretty much at, at the end of the track, right? I just. All right, yeah, that that was pretty much it. So yeah, y'all. Second disc. I don't know, man. If, if I'm being real, I do like that this one is more uh, bar-centric, if that's the proper term. Uh, I do like it's more bar-heavy. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Y-Boys, if I'm being completely 100% with y'all, I feel like Y-Boys is the better diss track, in my opinion. Um, this one is solid. Um, I do like that it's just a straight spitter, no hooks or anything like that, nothing... Like really, really, really catchy. We're just, we're just straight going. You know what I mean? We're just, we just, we just going, you know, just spitting all the way straight through, which is something that um, I don't think Church has done in quite some time. It's been a good minute since he's done something like that. So I do appreciate that aspect. I'm not saying it, it's bad by any means, because I, I do uh, appreciate and respect the fact that yeah, it was just a straight spitter, no hooks to chase, straight lace, no hooks to chase. But um, if I had to choose between this one and Y Boys, I don't know. I just feel like Y Boys to me is um, the heavier hitting diss track in my opinion. Um, but yeah, but I'm definitely gonna give it a like out of love, out of support for the homie Church. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, it's definitely another solid piece. And um, yeah, man, Tom. 
I don't know, y'all. I mean, dude gave us no response the first round. I have a feeling he's going to give us another no, no response this round. And like I said, as far as I'm concerned, either way at this point, dude already took a huge, huge L for this one. Hogbots, y'all took a huge L. I don't care what your reality dictates. Uh, what, yeah, what your reality dictates to you, you, because the real reality is that you guys took a whole fat L, and, um, yeah, you can go and, and, and suck on that, you know what I'm saying, because, uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is, I mean, you want to talk about numbers, y'all, y'all about your numbers, right, Tom only has, what, over a million subs, my man here, look at my man sub count, right here, hmm, what's that say? I'm pretty sure that, that that's a it starts out with with it with a number three and then we got you know a little decimal point right here and then we got a two and then we got a one and we got an m which stands for millions so there you go my man got a little over three million subs while your boy only has over a million subs so yeah again you got a big name player calling your boy out and your boy has been quiet and all of y'all doing all the crying for him not not a good look not a good look not a good look so anyway yeah i say church gets the dub tom takes the l Cree squad we get the dub hogbots y'all take the l is what it is man apparently your boy you know couldn't get his balls out of nova's purse to give my man here a, a response sad just sad so uh Anyways, y'all, <laughs> as you can tell, yeah, I'm having the time of my life with this, man. But anyway, let me go ahead and get this video the proper closing. So, yeah, man, I'm with this one. I, I just feel like Y Boys is the better track, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But, again, that's just me, though. Some of you may agree. Some of you may not. But, hey, that's all the way gravy train. And speaking of which, feel free to sound off in the comment section down below. Which diss track do you feel is the better diss track? Do you think it's this one? Do you think it's Y Boys? Or are you a fence sitter? And you like both. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Um, and yeah, and don't forget, y'all. Link for the video will be in the description down below. And of course, Church's name will be tagged um, in the title of, his, of this video. So either way, you can you can reach my man's channel. Either way, go show him some love, go show him that support. Let him know that your boy JJV doesn't send you. I'm sure, he would appreciate that as would I. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So far, Church is killing it. I'm just saying, he. I think he he he, he bodies Tom. That's all there is to it. Anyway, don't forget to do all the YouTube thing things here for your boy. If you're feeling the vibes, you know what I'm saying. And if you're new, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. You know what I'm saying. That'd be very much appreciated. Got merch for uh, anyone that's interested. Uh, shout out to everyone that's been buying the merch. And again, if you are not able to for whatever reason, or you're just not interested in buying the merch, that is fine. Like I said, do all the YouTube thing things, which are totally free. Doesn't cost a single red cent. Uh, like, comment, share, and of course, again, subscribe if you're new, if you're feeling the vibes. Like I said, doesn't cost anything, but it's still a big help, and I am very, very much appreciative of that as well. You know what I'm saying? I'll take all the help, all the support I can get. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> all right, y'all. Shout out to everyone. Like I said, it's been supporting. Everyone has been engaging with the channel. Everyone has been buying merch. Very much appreciated. And yeah, they got nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? I didn't see that last one after the next video. I'm going to say what's up, JV. Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like you curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.